About the last six months, we've been putting together a deal to have Roger run his new truck as USA One. It's a joint effort, and uh, I expect to see a lot of winning. We're going to be out here again after 21 years competing with Bigfoot, doing the competition thing with Monster X Tours. Thanks to Monster X Tours for this opportunity. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, winning, and I mean winning in a big way, like we did in 1988 when we won the first national championship in Monster Truck. Yeah, you know, we got some really some big shoes to fill here. Um, like Everett was saying, uh, a good friend of mine, Scott Bryant, was my crew chief, kind of got us hooked up together. I hadn't met Everett before, but this opportunity come up that Everett was wanting to get the USA One uh, four before name back out there, and uh, it was just a good opportunity because we Gallagher Motorsports was in the process of building a new chassis, and um, it was going to be a Chevrolet, and we knew we were going to put a big engine in it. Uh, it's got a 572 cubic inch uh, all aluminum Donovan engine in it. Um, uh, power glide transmissions. We got a lot of great sponsors that have helped us helped us out tremendously. Not to mention all the people at my shop that help us out. Family, friends. Uh, just it's it's been a group effort with Everett's help, helping with sponsors and stuff like that. It's just been a huge effort on everybody's part to make all this come true. And I think we can um, have a real good opportunity to maybe uh, take some wins here with the US, brand new USA One uh, monster truck.
free game quick. <laughs> Yeah, it is a great course out here. I didn't know how I'd feel about just these small little rollers, but this is actually, I love this course. The track's a whole lot less tacky than it was last year. It's nice and dry, so you can slide around the corner, so I'm loving it right now. Well, tell us a little bit real quick. The, the track went away. It looked like it slid through the corner. Larry's looking at the strobes. He's waiting for the strobes to go. I think there was a little bit of confusion, but these guys, you know, they've all run with us before. And here comes Dad, like, oh, yeah. I, I thought you said I thought you said you weren't easing up on him. It looked like he spanked it here tonight. Let me tell you what, he is so grounded he don't know what's coming yet. <laughs> tell us a little bit, because not only did you win racing against your dad, you just won racing against USA One, Bigfoot, and the Rockstar. So you just took out all of the competition, but more than that, because this is a point series, every single race, every but it also leads into the next round. So as the winner here right now, you get to decide where you want to run in the wheelie contest coming up in just a few minutes. You get to pick your spot. Where do you want to go? I'm going to go last. I'm going to see what these other guys got for me. Oh, so he's choosing to go last. Give it up, 19 years old. Cody Holman taking out the field. Hey, look racing.
So you take the win, you take out Bigfoot, you take out USA One, you take out Dad, which is always fun. Get him brag all the way home. But more importantly, you scare step into freestyle. You get to decide where you run in freestyle. I've got a pretty good idea where that's going to be, but now you get to decide where you want to run in freestyle. I'm going to go last again. You're going to go last again, you're going to run and let them all get out of here and see what they can do. And that's, that's a little risky with dirt like this because as the dirt goes away, you can get less and less to play on, but also it gives you a chance to see what you got to be. Absolutely. And the dirt will go away a little bit here since it's not real hard practice play, but you got to make the most of what you got. Give it up, Cody Hall! Ladies and gentlemen, go on down to the souvenir stand, check out the t-shirts, hats, pictures, posters, all the goodies at the Monster Truck Souvenir Stand. Grab something to eat, something to drink, we will be right back. Let's see if we can wrap up one more. Why not? We're already almost there, so.
you come out, you jump a couple of times, and you literally blew the tire off the beat. And it popped right back on, and you kept going. You know what? I wanted to get some big air because in, uh, free, or in the wheelie contest, I couldn't get the truck to stand up at all. And I told Kevin, I'm like, sorry, dude, but I'm going to let it all hang out. And he's like, go for it. And uh, I thought we were going to let it hang out a little more than it did. I, when it kicked sideways the second time, I thought it was going to end up worse. But, uh, you know, like I said earlier, 40 years for Bigfoot because of all you fans in the stands. Because you pay your hard-earned money to come and watch us, all of us, do what we love. So thank you guys very much. We will see you tomorrow night, and I promise we're going to make it more than two hits tomorrow night, and it's going to get crazy. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. Two hits, well, maybe three or four, but uh, you know what? It was it was cool. The truck's landing great. I'm starting to get the feel for it, so watch out. Had a little issues, you know, brand new truck, first night out, had some bugs and stuff we got to get worked out, got the crew work on it, what have you. Um, other things I'd like to... Uh, Say thanks to all my sponsors, man. They've helped us out a tremendous amount. BTE transmissions, MSD ignition systems, uh, Evansville bolt and nut, Hooker harness, uh, CTC perfection drive line. A bunch of local people from Evansville, we're from Evansville, Indiana, have helped us out along with family and friends, man. We've had a great opportunity here. This is our first weekend out. We've got a few bugs we're going to work out on the truck, but uh, I think there's a whole lot more things to come for the new USA One Monster truck. competition. <laughs> <laughs>
You said you were going to go all out tonight. There's no doubt you're pushing that truck pretty hard. There's dirt in your eye and in your helmet. The truck is performing, though. You know what? I got to give credit to the guys back at the shop because there's a lot of guys behind the scenes that give me the best piece possible. Like I said earlier, I can't say it enough. 40 years, Bob Chandler. I'm here doing what I love. All of you guys in the stands, the great sponsors, the people that put these shows on are awesome. But without you guys, we'd be here by ourselves. And it ain't no fun because some of these guys have tried it. And uh, you know what? We love each and every one of you. We appreciate you coming out. And yeah, everybody here wants to win. This is a point series and it means something. So, uh, and like I said, it means something to me. Captain USA, or USA One's here. You know, we got a big rivalry that's been a long time, but I've got a rivalry with every one of these guys, and uh, we're gonna do what we can to take it all tonight. Well, I mean, an awesome run, an awesome run. Now, I do want to give you an opportunity because you're telling me you got one of your great sponsors up. Bigfoot, obviously, has got some great sponsors, but one of your great sponsors is actually in the house tonight. Yeah, we run ZF Axles, which is a German-made company, but uh, one of our sponsors here, Gene, is, is here tonight, and, uh, you know, without, like I said, our sponsors help with everything. Um, every little bit helps, and but without you guys, it wouldn't be nothing, so... Thank you guys, each and every one of you. 40 years, we've got 40th anniversary merchandise up there. We'll sit here tonight till everyone goes home and sign autographs. So don't be afraid. And then you got Lenny Cooper coming up with his concert tonight. So it's gonna be a good night, lots of, lot to go. All right, so one last question. The way the racing goes, it progresses throughout the night. The winner of racing gets to decide where they run in the wheelie contest. Where do you wanna run in the wheelie contest? We're gonna go last, let these guys go, and then uh, we'll show them how it's done. There you have it, make some noise, Larry Shrew. One down, two to go, buddy. Well, that's never good when you're holding one of these, especially when it belongs to your mag, when it's busted off down in your block. Yeah, that sucks, but you gotta, I gotta drill it out, put a new stud in it. So it'll hold my mag down. If I don't run this, my mag's just gonna fly right out. So I can't even run with it out. So, night's over for this time.
out of four little bars for steering stuff. A little bit of a few bounce there. Yeah, I tell you what, man, it felt great. The truck's running good. Beautiful shot to win this freestyle. I hate to disappoint you guys, but man, that's just the way it is. You know, we try to run these things into the ground. You guys deserve the best show you can get. Sorry to let you down, but uh, you know, I thank the good Lord for letting us do this. Thank all you guys for coming here. I appreciate every one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a little bit of a prima. No. <laughs> now, what happened with yours? Because I know there's no way you pull off the track after three or four hits. Yeah, like I said, I just want to say sorry to all the fans. You guys spend your hard earned money to come, but unfortunately, I blew all the rear shocks out of it. Uh, I probably shouldn't have made the last hit, but you know, I wanted to see if that's what the problem was, and it was. So, again, I can't thank you guys enough 40 years for Bigfoot because of great fans like you. and. Uh, Wish we could have went longer, but it's all part of monster trucking. If it was easy, everybody would do it. So thank you guys for coming out. You still got one heck of a concert to come. And I believe this, we have a tie between Bigfoot and Hulk.